Canon had done something very different and it is something that they have never done before. So Canon have created a patent that looks like a gimbal with a camera on top of it. And here are a couple of photos that I have found. These are the patent created by Canon. There is of course a camera on top of the gimbal, but it is a camera with the interchangeable lens on it. So this camera looks very unique that Canon had never done like that before. And I am very curious of what it's going to do, what it's going to look like, and like the final project of it, and what, how is that going to work. So this camera looks like a vlogging camera with the gimbal on top of the handle. And you can see right beside all the, right beside the camera that there's a separate lens that attaches to the camera. To be honest, this camera reminds me of a DJI Osmo Pocket, but it is on steroids. It's pretty interesting, right? You can see on top of the camera that there's a hot shoe mount, and I think that is a great addition, great feature for that camera because you could put a good high quality microphone on top and a microphone on top you could capture a much better quality sound when you're vlogging. You can see in that photo that square shaped thing in the back of the gimbal will be an LCD or OLED display. I hope that the display will be OLED because I know that OLED is better than LCD. OLED is going to give so much better quality than an LCD can do and I really hope that Canon can do an OLED screen instead of an LCD screen. So I wonder if the LCD or OLED screen will be like a touch screen so that you can get like a specific object to focus or you can fix the ISO or do any kind of settings on it. So I'm really curious if it will be touch screen or not. I really believe that it will be touch screen because most of the Canon cameras, their screen are touch screens. Right below the display you can see that there's a touch pad right there and I think it's more for like swiping like previews when you're viewing photos. Maybe the touch pad can be for ISO or shutter speed or aperture. The, there's three things it can do. And there are a couple of buttons right below the touch pad that you can see it says image review and start and stop button. I mentioned earlier that that camera is an interchangeable lens camera. It is not confirmed yet, and I think that the lens mount will be either an EFM mount or EF mount. I don't think that there will be an RF mount option, but who knows, because this is just a patent. Canon hasn't done anything yet with those cameras yet, so I think that We'll just have to be patient and see what it looks like at the final stage. Canon stated that the gimbal of the camera does not actually stabilize the camera. However, I do not think that it would be a problem at all because most lenses have the image stabilization on the lens and it stabilized most of it. And I think that it would not be a huge problem. I don't think there'll be a need for a stabilized gimbal on a camera that already had an image stabilization. Another thing about this camera gimbal is that it looks like the gimbal can move and rotate 360 degrees. I think that is a really good need for that camera because if it is a vlog camera, then the camera needs to be able to rotate back and you can have the selfie mode on that camera. You can talk to it and if you want to see what's in front of you, you can flip the camera right back and what's in front of you. It also looks like that the camera can also rotate 180 degrees. So I don't think there's really a huge need for a camera to rotate if there's a hot shoe mount on top of it. Because if the microphone is on top of it and it hits the handle, that can like really, that would not really look good. It looks like the sensor size for that camera would be a crop sensor. I don't think that there would be a full frame sensor on that camera because that camera looks really small, but I can be wrong. This camera could 
probably handle a full frame camera. That would be really awesome. All in all, what is my thought about this camera? In my opinion, I think that camera looks really cool. I think that this camera would be the next level vlogging camera in the vlog line. But will I get the camera? I don't think so. The only reason is that I'm not really much of a vlogger and I don't really think that it would be very necessary for me to get that. I think that this camera will release probably next year, 2022. And the price range, I'm not really sure, but probably around 500 to a thousand dollars. Let's just wait. I think that it'll be a great camera if Canon makes that and finger crossed. Let's hope. So that is all of the video. Thank you so much for watching it this far. If you really enjoy watching tech news videos, hit the subscribe button and I will definitely make it more for you guys. And I love technology. I want to share more of my thoughts about new technology coming out and comment down below if you have any questions about the camera and I will definitely make conversation with you and help answer your question. I'll see you guys next time.